Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video that was a little bit different today besides my usual sit down and tutorial videos. I wanted to show you what I found at my local Walmart. So now Walmart is carrying these beauty boxes and they're usually around $10 and they carry a lot of beauty products. And this specific one is Latest in Lips, which has the lippies that are trending and this specific box is valued over $38 and in here you have all of the lippies that they carry so we have elf milani l'oreal maybelline hard candy and the last one is revlon so i'm gonna open these up and we're gonna swatch those and see if this box is worth it All right, so these are all of the lippies, and I want to talk quickly about if this is worth it. So the Milani matte lipsticks are usually around $9, $10, depending on where you pick them up. So this box is already worth it just with this Milani liquid lipstick. And then also the Maybelline, and this is such a pretty color, it's the Superstay Matte Ink. This ranges around nine, eight bucks as well. So with these two alone, it already makes this box worth it. Let's swatch them. That is such a pretty color. I love this. I moved some stuff out of the way and turned on my ring light because it started to get a little dark in here, but this is the swatch for the Amora Matte Lip Cream in Adorable. Next up, we have the Hard Candy Plumping Lip Gloss, and I've never tried any makeup products from Hard Candy, let alone a lip gloss, so let's see how that's going to swatch. So this was the swatch for the Hard Candy Plumping Lip Gloss, and I did go ahead and put it on my lips just so I could give you a review. It's very nude on the lips. You actually can't really tell that you're wearing anything. On my hand, it's coming out a little pink, but on the lips, it comes out almost clear. And I feel almost like a mint sensation on my lips, so it is plumping like it says it's supposed to. Next up on the list, we have L'Oreal Infallible Matte Gloss. So when I removed it from the tube, the applicator looked like this, and I was like, is that how it's supposed to be? And then when I kind of do this, I guess so, um, because of the length of the applicator, but at the same time, I think that's kind of strange because I've never seen an applicator like this. And now let's do a swatch. The name, however, is interesting because it is the Infallible Matte Gloss, and I'm not sure how something can be matte and glossy at the same time. Now, this is the Lip Exfoliator from e.l.f., and I've heard so many people talking about this, and I've also seen Pinterest posts about it, but I have never actually seen it in real life until I saw it in this beauty box. So it's basically self-explanatory. It's a lip, lip exfoliator. I currently have a lip exfoliator, but it's in a little tube. So this is very convenient because it's in a lipstick packaging form. And you just apply it to your lips as a lipstick, and it will exfoliate your lips before you apply your lipstick. I'm kind of bummed out that I have to do this voiceover, but it is what it is. I had some technical difficulties with the camera and the outro clip, so I wasn't able to input the footage in here of the swatches for the last lippy, which was the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream and the outro. So I'm here to give you a voiceover of all that information. The lip cream was really beautiful, such a pretty nude, and if you guys go and pick this box up, please let me know down below. I want to know your thoughts, and I hope you guys have a great day wherever in the world you are. See you guys in my next video. Bye!